After a giant project of exploration, scientists have found giant hidden secrets of the Antarctic and its ancient mysteries. One of the most important discoveries is probably the fact that at some point, the Antarctic was not cold, but it was actually a very hot area. Archaeologists also discovered pyramid-like mountains, underwater fascinating worlds, and DNA of one million years old. These are some mind-boggling findings, so let's explain them. So Antarctica is a very cold and empty place. It's covered in a thick layer of ice, and the wind's always freezing. But it wasn't always like this. For most of the past 100 million years, Antarctica was a warm and green place. Professor Jane Francis of Leeds University's School of Earth and Environment said that Antarctica was once a green and beautiful place. She said there were many furry mammals living there, including possums and beavers. The weather was tropical. It's only in the recent geological past that Antarctica became so cold. According to Professor Stephen Peckar of City University of New York, 55 million years ago, the carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere was more than 1,000 ppm. This caused the Earth to warm enough to melt all of its ice caps. Sea levels would have been almost 200 feet higher than today's. The current level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is 390 parts per million, or ppm, up from pre-industrial levels of 280 ppm. This increase is caused by emission from power plants, factories, and vehicles. The rise in carbon dioxide levels has already caused global temperatures to rise by almost 1 degree Celsius. Professor Peckar said that we should not take comfort in the fact that it'll take a long time to reach 1,000 ppm of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. He said that by the time we reach 500 ppm, we'll start to see major melting of the ice caps. Hank Brinkus and Peter Bigel of Utrecht University presented their findings at the symposium. They found pollen from plants that only thrive in the tropics today in sediments a kilometer under the seabed at Wilkes Land in East Antarctica. They also found similar material in the Arctic from the same period. This suggests that the poles were just as warm as the equator 55 million years ago. Brinkus said that carbon dioxide levels were so high at the time that they turned the planet into a uniformly warm hothouse. Scientists are eager to understand why the Earth's atmosphere experienced such extreme fluctuations in carbon dioxide levels in the past. Most hypotheses suggest that tectonic plate movements cause carbonate-rich rocks and sediments to release their carbon dioxide at certain times. This caused the Earth to heat up. In intervening periods, the carbon dioxide was absorbed by natural processes, and the Earth cooled down again. Professor Stephen Peckar of City University of New York said that the past of Antarctica can give us a glimpse at what our planet might be like in a couple hundred years, a hot, drowned world. In addition, Graham Hancock is intrigued by the fact that Antarctica is depicted on ancient maps, even though not officially discovered until 1820. Some of these maps were drawn in the 1500s, show Antarctica in great detail. These maps are believed to have been based on even older source maps that have since been lost. Hancock is astonished by the Pinkerton world map, which was drawn in 1813 or 1818 based on the latest exploration date at that time. The map shows a hole where Antarctica is because it was an honest map and nobody had found Antarctica yet. However, if you look at the Wald C. Mueller world map, which was drawn in 1530, you can see that Antarctica is present. With that, according to Hancock, the Arontius Phineas map shows Antarctica in the correct location. The map also shows Antarctica at the tip of South America and just south of South Africa. The map makers called this landmass the Southern Land. Antarctica was larger during the Ice Age, and the Piri Rice map shows it being larger than it is today. Hancock believes that the Orontius Phineas map was based on an even older source map that was created by a lost civilization. The lost civilization had knowledge of Antarctica and its geography. The Orontius Phineas map is confusing because it mixes exploration data from the mapmaker's own period with data from the older maps. However, when you look at the map in depth, it is very intriguing. Over the years, numerous expeditions have been undertaken to uncover the secrets hidden beneath its icy surface. One of the most groundbreaking discoveries in this region has been the uncovering of a unique and vibrant underwater ecosystem. 
The discovery of the underwater ecosystem in the Antarctic was a monumental event that shed light on the rich biodiversity of this remote region. For a long time, the Antarctic was believed to be a barren and lifeless wasteland due to its harsh and unforgiving environment. However, this perception changed dramatically with the advent of new technologies and research methods. The initial glimpses of the Antarctic underwater ecosystem were obtained through remotely operated vehicles or ROVs and submersibles, which allowed scientists to explore the depths of the ocean without having to physically dive into the freezing waters. These expeditions revealed a plethora of marine life forms that were previously unknown to science. The underwater ecosystem of the Antarctic is home to a wide variety of marine life, ranging from microscopic phytoplankton to giant squid. Some of the most iconic species found in this region include the Antarctic krill, which forms the base of the food chain and is a crucial food source for many larger animals such as whales, seals, and penguins. Apart from krill, the Antarctic waters are also home to several species of fish, which have evolved unique adaptations to survive in the freezing temperatures. For example, the Antarctic toothfish has a special type of antifreeze protein in its blood, which prevents it from freezing in the icy waters. Also, one of the most intriguing aspects of this enigmatic continent is the so-called Antarctic Pyramid, a structure that has fueled the imagination of conspiracy theorists, historians, and researchers alike. The Antarctic Pyramid refers to a pyramid-like structure discovered in satellite images of the Antarctic continent. These images show what appears to be a mountain with four almost perfectly symmetrical sides resembling a pyramid. According to some experts, the Antarctic Pyramid-like mountain is a natural formation. It's not uncommon for mountains to have pyramidal shape, and there are several examples of such mountains around the world, such as the Matterhorn in the Alps. The Antarctic continent has been covered in ice for millions of years, and the forces of erosion from wind and water could have carved out a pyramid-like shape over time. Another theory suggests that the pyramid-like structure in Antarctica could be the work of an ancient civilization. Proponents of this theory point to the fact that the pyramid appears to be almost perfectly symmetrical, which they argue is unlikely to happen naturally. They also suggest that the Antarctic continent was ice-free in the past, allowing a civilization to thrive there. It's important to note that the discovery of a subglacial river in Antarctica marked a significant breakthrough that astonished scientists and shed light on the unknown aspects of Earth's hydrological cycle and its impact on global climate. The Antarctic ice sheet, the largest single mass of ice on Earth, contains almost 70% of the world's fresh water. Despite its vastness and significance, much of it remains unexplored. However, in recent years, scientists have been employing advanced technology such as radar and satellite imagery to uncover the mysteries hidden beneath the ice. It was through one such expedition that the existence of a subglacial river in Antarctica was confirmed. Researchers have long suspected the presence of subglacial rivers and lakes beneath the Antarctic ice sheet. But their existence was only confirmed in recent years. The discovery was made possible through the use of ice-penetrating radar, which enabled scientists to map the topography beneath the ice sheet and identify the presence of a flowing river beneath the ice. The discovery of a subglacial river in Antarctica has several implications. It provides insights into the hydrological cycle of the Antarctic ice sheet. The movement of water between the ice sheet plays a crucial role in its dynamics, affecting the rate at which glaciers flow into the sea. Understanding this process is key to predicting the future behavior of the ice sheet and its impact on global sea levels. Furthermore, in 2019, a team of scientists led by Linda Armbrecht from the Institute for Marine and Antarctic Studies in the University of Tasmania in Australia made a remarkable discovery. They found DNA from ancient microorganisms that lived in the Scotia Sea, north of Antarctica, around a million years ago. This is the oldest authenticated marine set of DNA, sedimentary ancient DNA, ever discovered. The DNA was found in sediment cores collected from the seafloor at depths of up to 178 meters or 584 feet. The cores were collected as part of a research expedition by the International Ocean Discovery Program, or IODP. The scientists were able to extract and sequence the DNA from the sediment cores. They found that the DNA belonged to a wide variety of microorganisms, including bacteria, 
archaea, and eukaryotes. The oldest fragments of DNA were from a eukaryote, which is an organism that has a nucleus in its cells. The scientists believed that the DNA was preserved in the sediment cores because of the cold, dark, and oxygen-poor conditions at the bottom of the sea. These conditions are ideal for preserving organic matter, including DNA. The discovery of this ancient DNA is a major breakthrough in the study of marine microbial ecology. It provides a unique glimpse into the life that existed in the Scotia Sea millions of years ago. Scientists believe that the DNA can be used to study how the marine ecosystem has changed over time and how it might be affected by climate change. Moreover, in 2023, a team of scientists from the University of California, Berkeley made a startling discovery in Antarctica. While conducting a survey of the Thwaites Glacier, they found a network of meltwater tube structures that were up to 100 meters long and 10 meters wide. These structures were found to be filled with liquid water, even though the surrounding ice was well below freezing. The discovery of these meltwater tube structures is significant because it provides new insights into the behavior of the Thwaites Glacier. The glacier is one of the largest and fastest moving glaciers in Antarctica and is considered to be a major contributor to sea level rise. The meltwater tube structures could be a sign that the glacier is melting more rapidly than previously thought. The scientists who made the discovery believe that the meltwater tube structures formed when water from the glacier surface seeped down through the ice and froze. The freezing water created a network of channels that allowed more water to flow through. This process could be happening all over Antarctica, and it could be contributing to the rapid melting of the continent's ice sheets. The discovery of meltwater tube structures is a reminder of the challenges that Antarctica is facing. The continent is warming at twice the rate of the rest of the world, and the ice sheets are melting at an alarming rate. If the melting continues, it could have devastating consequences for the planet. Scientists are calling for more research into meltwater tube structures. They believe that a better understanding of these structures could help us to predict how the Thwaites Glacier and other Antarctic ice sheets will behave in the future. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.